in the last lecture we define your what is the complex variable and what is the limit of the function okay and we did some problem based on the limit of the function now let us continue our topic your topic next topic is what continuity continuity of a function continuity of function what is the continuity of a function uh, in graphical way suppose we have the function okay uh, in graphical approach suppose we, this is your axis x axis and this is y axis and this is your origin okay and we define a function suppose this is your function and this function is what continuous why is this so because there is no break in the this curve there is no break in this curve so this function is what continuous is this function is continuous If this function is continuous no sir no because there is a break because there is a break here to here here from here to here if you uh, if we want to reach here so we must add them na so continuity is break over this point and this point so this function is not a continuous okay and this is your function and which is continuous function getting why this so because we can draw the curve without lifting your pen definition let omega equal to f of z f of z be a single valued function be a single valued function single value function define in define in a bounded and closed domain in a bounded and closed domain closed domain d okay so here we letting the function f of z is defined in closed and bounded region d okay then then a function a function f of x sorry we are talking about what complex function a function f of z is said to be continuous said to be continuous said to be continuous at the point at the point z equal to z not if if limit z tending to z not f of z exist exist and and which is equal to equal to f of z not then we can say that the function f of z is continuous now you can define in another way also or a function a function f of z equal to what f of z equal to u of x comma y plus i v of x comma y is continuous is continuous at the point at the point z equal to what z equal to x not plus i y not if if real part means what if real part real part of f of z that is what real part u comma u of x y and and v of x y are 
कंटिन्यूअस कंटिन्यूअस सेपरेटली कंटिन्यूअस सेपरेटली एट जेड इक्वल टू वॉट एक्स नॉट प्लस आई वाई नॉट मीन्स वॉट इफ यू यू ऑफ एक्स कॉम वाई इज कंटिन्यूअस फंक्शन एंड बी ऑफ एक्स कॉम वाई इज कंटिन्यूअस फंक्शन देन सम ऑफ दिस फंक्शन दैट इज यू ऑफ एक्स कॉम वाई एंड बी ऑफ एक्स कॉम वाई इज कंटिन्यूअस देन वी कैन से दैट एफ इज कंटिन्यूअस एट दैट पॉइंट ओके सम रिजल्ट 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 इफ वी हैव लिमिट जेड टेंडिंग टू जेड नॉट एफ ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू वॉट इज इक्वल टू एल वन एंड लिमिट जेड टेंडिंग टू जेड नॉट जी ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू वॉट लिमिट एल टू देन then we can say that number 1 limit z tending to z not f of z plus g of z okay if i want to find the limit of sum of these two function then this equal to what this equal to limit l1 and plus l2 okay If I subtract these two function and find the limit of f of z minus g of z, then we will have the limit l1 minus l2. Getting? This is the first property of the limit, and second one. And second one. If I want to take product of the limit, limit z tending to z not f of z into g of z. And this equal to what? This equal to limit l1 into l2. Why is this so? Because limit of the function f of z is l1, and limit of the function g of z is l2. So product of the functions limit is l1 into l2. Getting? And similarly, number three, if we want to find the limit of the function as z tending to z not f of z by g of z okay f of z by g of z so this is equal to what this is equal to this is equal to l1 by l2 provided that g of z is not equal to 0 and l2 is what l2 is not equal to 0 okay so this is the algebra of limit of the function getting you must have to remember this now let us do some problem based on this then we will go ahead okay so example 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 uh discuss the continuity of the function discuss the continuity of the function discuss the continuity of the function f of z defined by define by define by f of z f of z is what f of z is function of x comma y okay f of z is the function of z is what z is function of x comma y na so f of z is what function of x comma y so so this is what this is x This is x into y 
डिवाइड बाय डिवाइड बाय एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर एंड हियर एक्स स्क्वायर ओके एंड द कंडीशन इज वॉट द कंडीशन इज वॉट एक्स कॉमा वाई इज नॉट इक्वल टू वॉट जीरो जीरो एंड हियर वी हैव जीरो अदरवाइज वी हैव जीरो अदरवाइज एक्स कॉमा वाई इज इक्वल टू वॉट जीरो जीरो पे दिस विज जीरो ओके एंड वी हैव टू डिस्कस वेदर दिस फंक्शन इज कंटिन्यूस और नॉट ओके लेट एस मूव टू द नेक्स्ट पेज सोल्यूशन एंड योर फंक्शन इज गिवेन टू यू दैट इज गिवेन एफ ऑफ एक्स कॉमा वाई एंड विच इज इक्वल टू वॉट एक्स स्क्वायर वाई डिवाइड बाय एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर दिस फंक्शन इज गिवेन टू यू नाउ वी विल चेक वेदर द फंक्शन लिमिट ऑफ दिस फंक्शन एग्जिस्ट और नॉट ओके सो वी विल चेक लिमिट ऑफ द फंक्शन अलॉन्ग द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पाथ सो विल चेक अलॉन्ग अलॉन्ग द पाथ अलॉन्ग द पाथ वाई इक्वल टू एम एक्स एज एक्स टेंडिंग टू वॉट एक्स टेंडिंग टू जीरो सो जस्ट रिप्लेस दिस सो दे आर फोर वी विल हैव एफ ऑफ एक्स कॉम वाई इन प्लेस ऑफ वाई वी पुट यर एम एक्स एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर इन प्लेस ऑफ वाई वी पुटिंग यूर एम एक्स ओके एंड डिवाइड बाय एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एंड दिस इज वॉट एम स्क्वायर एंड एक्स स्क्वायर ओके सो वट इज योर लिमिट योर लिमिट विल बी वॉट एक्स टेंडिंग टू जीरो सो जस्ट बिफोर अप्लाइंग दिस वी जस्ट फाइंड वॉट लिमिट एक्स टेंडिंग टू जीरो सो जस्ट राइट डाउन लिमिट जस्ट सिंप्लीफाई देन वी अप्लाई द लिमिट ओके सो दे आर फॉर वॉट दिस इज एक्स क्यू एम डिवाइड बाय वॉट इज कॉमन एयर we to taking common x square so what is the remaining 1 plus m square okay so here x square and x square cancel so we will have what we will have x into m divided by 1 plus m square okay now what taking limit as x tending to 0 so taking taking limit as x tending to 0 on both side both sides so just apply the limit therefore f is what your function of x so you have become what function of x x you have become function of x and x and this is equal to what i am taking limit as x tending to x tending to 0 so this is limit x tending to 0 Uh, x into m divided by what? One plus m square. Okay. Just provide the limit. Just provide the limit. So here you will have zero into m divided by one plus m square. So zero multiply by anything that will be what? So that will will be zero. Getting? So limit of this function is zero as x tending to zero. Therefore. Ah. Uh, therefore also also we have we have f of x f of what 0 0 okay also we have f of 0 0 0 0 is equal to what is equal to if i putting if i putting x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 okay x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 in this function so you will get what 0 function value is what 0 so this is equal to what 0 getting therefore name this equation number 1 and name this equation number 2 therefore by definition of continuity by definition of continuity 
by definition of continuity uh, what can you say here limit x comma y tend to 0 0 f of x comma y and which is equal to what f of f of what which is equal to f of 0 0 okay f of 0 0 so this is definition of continuity of the function both are limit limit of the function is equal to 0 and function value is equal to 0 so by definition of continuity we can say that limit of the function f of x comma y is equal to f of x uh, f of 0 0 okay from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 okay so by definition of continuity we can say that function f is continuous at 0 0 that is on origin okay therefore f of x comma y is continuous continuous at x comma y is equal to what 0 0 that is what that is function is continuous at origin okay at origin so now we complete your problem the given function is continuous at the origin i hope you understood how to find the limit of that function and how to show the function is continuous yes or no yes sir hmm uh, can you do another problem can you do another problem let us do another problem example number 2 example number 2 f of x comma y means what this is what f simply ha ha dekho ab aisa likh sakte ho isko iska meaning ab ghabrana nahi hai aapko f of z hai theek hai f of z ko kaisa likh sakte ho f of z is what x plus i y aur isko aap order pair mein aisa likh sakte ho f of x comma y theek hai teenon ka meaning ek hi hai to yahan pe confuse nahi hona hai aapko now so that so that so that the function f of x comma y defined by defined by f of x comma y and this is equal to what x comma y by x square plus y square condition is what x comma y is not equal to 0 0 and this is what 0 when condition is x comma y is equal to what 0 0 is discontinuous this continuous at the origin discontinuous at the origin okay let us show how this function will be discontinuous so what is given to you just write down function given function f of x comma y and this equal to what x square sorry this equal to this equal to x x into y divided by x square plus y square okay now we will choose the path we will choose the path so let us take general path along the path along the path y equal to mx this is what is straight line so we choosing this path y equal to mx as as what x tending to 0 okay as x tending to 0 so therefore we just take limit directly here limit x tending to 0 
x tending to 0 and y also tending to 0 okay y also tending to 0 y tending to 0 okay so so this become what x tending to 0 and y tending to 0 instead of writing this you just write down like this uh, x comma y tending to what 0 0 and f of x comma y okay f of x comma y so this equal to what uh, i'm writing limit x comma y tending to 0 0 now just replace instead of y we putting here mx so here x into mx and divide by what divide by x square and plus m square instead of y we putting mx so this become m square and x square so just solve this this is what limit limit x comma y tending to oh so m by 1 plus m, m square yeah, yes just listen m by 1 plus m so this is, yeah this is x square and, and divide by what x square i am taking common so this become 1 plus m square so x square x square will cancel so you will have what limit x comma y tending to what 0 0 okay and this is what m divided by 1 plus m square okay if i taking m equal to 1 so limit will be what 1 upon 2 oh. if i taking m equal to another value so you will get different different value so limit depends on the m okay so here limit is not unique so we can say that limit of the function does not exist since limit of the function of the function depends on depends upon depends on the path okay since limit of the function depends on the path y equal to mx as x tending to 0 okay so for different value of so for different different value of m values of m limit will be different limit will be different okay limit will be different hence limit is not unique hence hence limit is not unique okay hence limit is not unique therefore we can say that limit of the function does not exist therefore the limit limit of the function limit of the function does not limit of the function does not exist okay limit exists in your eye so continuity ki baat hi nahi nikalta yahan pe so limit of the function does not exist therefore function is discontinuous at the origin therefore f of x comma y is discontinuous continuous at the origin at the origin that is at x comma y is equal to what zero zero okay discontinuous means what function is not continuous at the origin okay hence proved hence proved oh so previous <laughs> okay just look over here means if limit of the function is not exist then you can say that function is discontinuous at the origin suppose here uh, instead of given 
instead of zero suppose there is another point okay there is another point so th that point is not at the origin okay if if point is zero zero is given this means what limit is only on the origin getting yes or no student you got it yes sir ha ah. example uh examine the continuity of the function examine the continuity of the function function f of z where f of z is defined by f of z is defined by like this z square plus 4 and uh, divide by z into z into z minus 2i okay z minus 2i the condition is what z is not equal to 2i and here and this equal to this equal to 2 otherwise if z equal to what 2i okay let us discuss the continuity of this function at the given point okay let us check the continuity of the function so solution for this uh what is given to you just just write down your given function given function f of z equal to what z square plus 4 and divide by z into z minus 2i okay z minus 2i now taking limit as z tending to 2i on both side so taking limit as z tending to 2i on both sides just apply the limit so limit z tending to 2i f of z and this is equal to what limit z tending to i a square plus 4 and by z into z minus 2 okay so this is equal to what limit z tending to 2i so z square plus 4 can be written as what z plus 2i into z minus 2i and divide by z into z minus 2i So here z minus 2i and z minus 2i will cancel. So what is the remaining over here? Just write down. So limit z tending to 2i, z plus 2i divided by z. Okay, just apply the limit. So so instead of z, we putting here 2i. So this become what 2i plus 2i divided by 2i and uh, this can be written as what this can be written as 2i 2i is what 4i and divide by 2i so i i cancel you will get only 2 okay you will get only but what sir aapka screen freeze ho gaya but ha to mera ko to voice bhi break ho liye freeze ho gaya abhi aaya sir aaya na तो अभी देखिए ठीक है सो देर फोर बाय डिफिनेशन ऑफ डिफिनेशन ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ द फंक्शन कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ द फंक्शन ऑफ द फंक्शन एफ ऑफ जेड इज f of z is continuous is continuous at which point 
एट जेड इक्वल टू टू आई ओके एट जेड इक्वल टू टू आई सो इन दिस वे वी कैन शो हाउ द फंक्शन इज कंटिन्यूअस सो यूर गिवेन फंक्शन इज वॉट कंटिन्यूअस फंक्शन एट जेड इक्वल टू टू आई यू अंडरस्टूड हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम यस नो स्टूडेंट बोलिए इज दिस इजी और डिफिकल्ट देख लीजिए ये भी यस बोलो जेड स्क्वायर प्लस फोर को जब हम लोग वो सेपरेट किए थे जेड स्क्वायर जेड प्लस टू के फॉर्म में और जेड माइनस टू के फॉर्म में सर वहाँ पे तो आई नहीं था तो वो आई को क्या किया मल्टीप्लाई दे गया हाँ मल्टीप्लाई नहीं किया ये ऐसे सेपरेट होता है यहाँ पे देखो ये ऐसा है इसको मैं देखो बताता हूँ कैसे ये आपका जेड स्क्वायर है ना जेड स्क्वायर प्लस फोर है ठीक है इसको आप ऐसा लिखोगे इक्वल टू जीरो इसका अगर रूट फाइंड करोगे तो आपको कैसा मिलेगा जेड स्क्वायर इक्वल टू माइनस फोर ठीक है अभी इसका स्क्वायर रूट लोगे तो आपको क्या मिलेगा प्लस माइनस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ माइनस फोर ठीक है फिर दिस इक्वल टू वोट प्लस माइनस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर फोर इंटू माइनस वन ऐसा लिख सकते हैं फिर दिस इज वोट प्लस माइनस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर इज हाउ मच टू ओके एंड दिस इज वॉट स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ माइनस वन बट वी नो दैट वॉट आई स्क्वायर इज वॉट माइनस वन आई स्क्वायर इज माइनस वन सो आई विल बी वॉट स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ माइनस वन तो स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ माइनस वन बिकम वॉट आई सो दिस इज प्लस माइनस टू आई सो यू कैन राइट वन ब्रेकेट जेड प्लस टू आई वन फैक्टर एंड सेकेंड फैक्टर जेड माइनस टू आई एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू वॉट जेड स्क्वायर प्लस फोर यू अंडरस्टूड 